So we're going to demonstrate the use of uh, the, the new NaviPro hydrophilic wire. This is the 260 centimeter length. So we're just going to start by cannulating with a standard catheter. Uh, and then we'll show you how we exchange over this short uh, hydrophilic wire. So in order for this to work, the channel of this catheter has to be pre-flushed with water, which I've already done. And, and of course the hydrophilic wire has been flushed through this port. And we're going to advance the wire down the catheter. You can show me the catheter. Uh, let's just push it out a little bit. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right, so now the, the wire is the, uh, yeah, keep the light on. All right, so the wire is now at the tip of the catheter, ready for cannulation. Uh, so uh, Petros is going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead. All right. Uh, go, that's good. So that, that looks like a good position. So now I'm going to probe with the wire into the bile duct, just like that. So at this point, um, we are ready for an exchange. Since this patient has a bile duct stone that we need a sphincterotome. So at this point we will start the exchange process and my job is to advance the wire at the same speed as, uh, as the endoscopist is removing the catheter. Go ahead, Petrus. All right, and as soon as the wire is exposed, uh, it's trapped in the elevator. Sometimes that's enough to keep it in position. But I will still feed the wire in as he's withdrawing and at this point, stop. At this point the wire is uh, level with the tip of the hub. So just using a standard 10 cc syringe of saline. If the, if the wire will uh, stay trapped in the elevator you can just try a little test here and see if you can pull the catheter back. Um, if it's enough uh, then we don't need to do this but the extra security uh, is to put a little pressure, a little hydrostatic pressure behind the wire which is what I'm doing now. That's keeping the wire in place. The wire is not moving. So at this point, nobody's holding the wire except the elevator of the endoscope. And then at the point that the wire is suddenly a, uh, exposed at the valve, the endoscopist can now hold the wire and I can take it and remove the catheter device. And in this case, we're going to place a sphincterotome over the wire. If we're not uh, quick in doing this, it's uh, necessary to wet the wire. This has already been pre-flushed, so that the guide wire channel is wet. Uh, it's still wet here. I think we're doing okay. If, if there's any doubt about that, I will stop. and uh, wet the wire as I insert it. Remember that the wire is trapped in the elevator the whole time we're doing this. But it's still, uh, you need to be cautious that you don't pull on the wire. I will pass the sphincterotome over to Petros who will then insert it. And again, notice that nobody is holding the wire at this point. So I will reinsert the uh, wire into its uh, tube. Go ahead. Again, this will keep it wet and also very tidy so that it's not hanging out of the scope. Uh, if by any chance I need to withdraw the wire, I can do that because now I have control of the wire. The sphincterotome is now in position across the papilla and we're ready for sphincterotomy.